Hi guys, Pixels or Isaac here. Today I am bringing you a Moonwalk slash Aaron Tech tutorial as it's been one of my most requested videos, well, ever. You guys have inspired me so much to make this tutorial and today's the day. And I'm not going to drag this fucking intro out for too long, but if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll answer as many as I can. As always, I'll see you later, guys. Alright, so there's a few different types of Moonwalks in Dead by Daylight. There's the Aaron Tech that looks like this. And there's also the normal Moonwalk that looks like this. And um, I'm going to be showing you how to do both of them. So if you're new to Moonwalking, I recommend starting on like 70%. Because when you're doing the ear and tech, sensitivity does matter. So anywhere between 70 and 80, I'd say is a good starting point. However, you can just optimize it to your preference. I personally play on 100, but I've been doing this for quite a long time now. The first air intake I'm going to be teaching you is the normal air intake that looks like this. So the first step is you need to do a 180 turn like this. It's pretty simple, as you can see what I'm doing with my left thumb. And after that, you just need to bring both analog sticks the same way, left and right, left and right. But you need to keep in mind this analog stick, the left one, needs to be going downwards so your character can move backwards that's pretty much all there is to it all i can really say is it, it will take a bit of practice to get the hang of it but just watch what my uh, fingers are doing and um, you'll hopefully get the hang of it this applies for both air and techs to reverse which i'm going to teach you in a minute and the normal air and tech but faster is a lot harder however if your camera is moving at the same pace as what your character is it, i don't think it really matters how fast you're doing it obviously sensitivity does play like a big part in how difficult it is but i mean as i said if you're new i think 70 is a good option so just to recap do the 180 turn both analog sticks the same way making sure the left one is going downwards and um yeah that's basically the air and tech i forgot to mention actually with the air and tech like with the regular air and tech you can click into it like this and it's not as efficient anymore, to be honest with you, because they changed flashlights, making it so you can't spam click anymore, so it takes a second. But I think it's really useful if you're if you're in chase and the kid is like chasing you and you're looking behind you like, oh fuck, I gotta juke him. And then, and then you go into it like that, and then, yeah. The fuck? Alright, dude. That's beef, okay. So onto the Aaron Tech reverse. So unlike the normal Aaron Tech, your analog sticks needs to be going in the opposite direction and your left analog stick needs to be pointing upwards so your character can move forwards and um, so you basically just follow the same rules as you would begin the normal air and tech with uh, where you do the 180 but except instead of doing it like this you need to do a 180 turn and make sure your character is facing you basically and um your analog sticks need to be going in and out basically Keep in mind your left analog state needs to be pointing upwards but yeah it's basically the opposite direction i'm a lot better at this one for some reason some people consider this one the easier of the two and others <laughs> consider it harder so i mean it's a bit of a mixed opinion if you ask anyone who does this but yeah so just do the 180 turn make sure your left analog stick is pointing upwards and just go in out in out so whatever way your character's turning your camera needs to go the opposite all right it is kind of it's kind of a mind fuck to be honest compared to the, the normal air attack but you'll get used to it eventually and um yeah <laughs> yeah man yeah there's also a few different variations of the air and tech like the sideways one that looks like this but i mean let me try to get it is it i still find it really hard to do yeah it just basically looks like that and I know my hands probably look like they're having like a cramping session or something. And you're right in thinking it does cramp your fucking hands out. So I really don't recommend doing that one until you've uh, fully uh, accomplished doing the regular ear and text. But the way that one works is you basically just need to make sure your left analog stick is going left. Instead of going in and out like the, the reverse ear and tech, it needs to be going up and down. But also pointing left. I don't know. It's like really weird, dude. I'm not perfect at it, and uh, a lot of the time you'll find yourself going diagonal. Don't ask me why I move my controller so much when I air intake. I do realize that, but I mean, I, I don't know why. 
So yeah, that reminds me, on to the next moonwalk. Developed by 72 Hours, I believe it is the regular moonwalk, otherwise known as the 72 Hour Tech. And the way you do this on controller is do the 180 turn as you would. You need to make sure your left analog stick is pointing upwards and you need to wiggle it left and right. So you need to do the 180 turn, make sure your left analog stick is wiggling left and right. This is a lot harder to do on controller than people think, especially compared to keyboard and mouse. It is a really cool moonwalk to do. Yeah, so that's basically the normal uh, moonwalk. You can also do it backwards. However, I'm not great at it, to be honest with you. You need to do the 180. And you need to bring your left handle stick downwards. But I'm... I'm really not good at it, to be honest with you guys. I often find myself going like diagonal. Like there. It's not amazing. This one on, on controller. It's, it's very hard, to be honest. I don't know why it's so much harder than the one going forward. Like with the one going forward, you can kind of just do it. But maybe I'll make an updated tutorial in the future when I'm a lot better at all of these moonwalks. But you guys really wanted to see something like this from me. Like a tutorial explaining everything and um maybe i'll make a 360 tutorial in the future but uh to start off with guys if you're a beginner to moonwalking i'd say just focus on that ear in tech if you get really good at it you can do like these weird like switches like this and uh they look really cool and uh yeah once you've mastered it you can juke some killers and shit and it'll just be like really fun so with the normal moonwalk it's a, it's a lot harder but as i said if you follow my steps, you should be fine. I'm sure there's other tutorials that explain this a bit better, but I know you guys wanted to see this from me specifically. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And as always, I'll see you later, guys.